We're back out here at the Good Earth Garden Center, but this time outside in the greenhouse with Mr. Greg Curtis, talking about something that we had mentioned about Christmas trees, but you can also use it on other plants too, but just showing you what you can do with Wilt Stop if you don't spray it versus if you do spray it. Yeah, back in November, we talked about this product, so I just wanted to really see, because I normally get rid of my Christmas trees. So let's just see what happens. Right. So here we are, late February, going mm -hmm. into March. This tree just set out on my driveway, nothing right. special. And look, I mean, it's like, that's the test we do to make sure it's fresh when they get here in November. Just a couple of needles, that's, that's it. it. So spraying it down once, and uh -huh. I'm not talking heavy, not dousing it, has kept it looking like this, mm -hmm. as opposed to one that one spray has already turned brown, starting to, you can see, fall All off the needles coming well. off there. But what we're talking about, go ahead. Yeah, but as you mentioned here, I mean, it's not just for Christmas trees. That's something I didn't know. You can yeah. do this for potential frost scenarios with your outdoor plants and things like that. Yeah, and, and Central Arkansas, it could, you know, I've seen it frost in April. Right. You know, so what we'll do is our camellias, as we move them out of this covered area mm -hmm. over the next week, we'll start spraying our camellias down. Okay. You can also do anything that's going to have a heavy leaf on it like this. Okay. Which would be a boxwood or um, say some other evergreens that are thick like that, spray down. But if you can show them here, just an example, how simple it is to use this product. So you just spray it, right? You just spray it. So you want to spray enough, Hayden, where it's, where it's dripping off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're doing a great job there. Now, it doesn't hurt to get it on the blooms or anything D like that? Doesn't hurt at all. Okay. Doesn't hurt at all. Well, I guess you kind of want to keep it on the bloom because you've got yeah. something right here that so kind of has what this will do, so this bloom was in tight bud. It got cold, like, I think we had like 20 last week or so, mm -hmm. and we hadn't sprayed them yet. So okay. what it did was kill the bloom. So as we move them out, we'll spray, and when they're in tight bud like that, it just give that four to five degrees insulation factor so that bloom probably would have made it okay yeah. now if you if you have a rain or something like that do you need to reapply or is it good for one You're application good. one application will get you four months maybe wow. even six months so if, if you have them planted outside ain't what you can spray them down in november okay and that's going to get you all the way to probably mid-march wow yeah go ahead and plan ahead on that yeah. part all right, and you guys have got plenty of this out we here. We do. We keep it in stock. Okay. Hey, good idea to have this stuff, especially if you're one of those that want to make sure that everything looks good when it comes to springtime and don't want to get caught with that frost that comes. And you know what happens, especially when we start to see warm weather. All right, we're going to send it back to you guys.